Today we're, uh, we will demonstrate how to put a modular plug on the end of a category cable. Uh, we're going to demonstrate this with the most difficult cable, a category 6 cable. Um, there are other category cables, category 5 and 5E, and they'll be a little easier to do this task. So what we're going to do is we will put a modular plug on the end of this uh, category 6 cable, and we call that direct attach. Uh, in order to do that, uh, we need some things. Uh, we need some uh, modular plugs. Uh, to put on the end of the cable. These are eight conductor modular plugs, sometimes called RJ45s. Uh, we need a, uh, a tool uh, to crimp that plug down onto the cable. We need a, a pair of uh, scissors and we'll need a, uh, a stripping tool in order to uh, strip the jacket. I put a guide down here on the table, a color code guide, and we will follow this color code chart to make sure that we get the, the uh, conductors inserted uh, into the plug in the proper manner. And we'll follow this guide as we go along. So let's go ahead and do it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our, our stripping tool and we're going to strip just about a, an inch or so, a small amount of cable. An inch would be fine, maybe an inch, inch and a half of cable. And we're going to uh, uh, strip the jacket back. Uh, you'll notice that inside here is a cord, a rip cord or a small string. And we'll take our scissors and we'll go ahead and, and uh, we will uh, cut that uh, little string off because we don't need it. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is kind of separate the pairs. So we're going to pull these pairs apart like this. And uh, you'll notice that inside a category, in many category 6 cables, this one, uh, this category 6 cable, which happens to be category 6 plenum, in the middle of here is a spine. Uh, that spine's there in order to hold the cable geometry together uh, so it can maintain its electrical performance, but for uh, installing a modular plug, we don't need that spine, so we're going to cut it off. So you want to go real low to the base, and you want to cut that spine off, but you want to make sure that you don't cut any of the conductors. Then I like to arrange the conductors in the proper order. So I like to put the orange, uh, orange pair to the uh, left, um, the uh, brown pair to the right, and then the other two pairs, uh, I just need to get them out of the way. And uh, so we're going to start with the orange pair. So we're going to unlock. We will unlock or untwist uh, the orange pair and based upon our color code chart uh, the first conductor to lay down will be the orange with the uh, white, uh, white stripe or the white with the orange stripe and then the solid orange cable and then the next conductor uh, conductors we need are green uh, so I'm going to pull over the green uh, the green pair and I will unlock it and if you look at the chart you're going to see that the next conductor we need is the green uh, the green conductor uh, with the uh, the white with the green stripe. So we'll lay that one down. Make sure I got the right one. I have the wrong one. There it is. The green one with the white stripe. And you'll notice when you're using a plenum cable, the colors are a little harder to uh, uh, get, so you got to be real careful with that. Take that green, solid green conductor and set it to the side. You're going to need that a little later. And now we're going to bring down the blue pair. So we're going to unlock or untwist uh, the blue pair. And the next conductor that goes down is the solid blue. So we will lay the solid blue conductor down and it'll go right beside the green conductor or the white conductor with the green stripe. And then the next one is the white with the blue stripe. So we lay it down. That'll be next. And you'll notice how I'm kind of holding these in my hand to kind of keep them together so they don't fall apart and get on, uh, out of order. And uh, as I do it, I try to lay them out so they can get nice and straight. The next conductor is that one we set aside. We need that green one. So we'll lay that green one down next. And that's the next one we lay down in, the, in, in order. And then the last pair we need to unlock will be the brown pair. So we need to get the white with the brown stripe goes next. And then the solid brown conductor. And then we lay them all down there together. And uh, we make them as straight as we can get them. Okay, check our color code. Oh, oops, that one's wrong. We get the uh, orange with the, or white with the orange stripe, and then the solid orange, and it's the green, a uh, white with the green stripe, and then the next one will be uh, the solid green, or I mean the solid blue, and then it's the blue, or uh, white with the blue stripe, and then the solid green, 
and the white with the brown stripe and the solid brown. So we got them all in the right order. Then we take our scissors and we will uh, uh, cut it so there's about a half an inch of, uh, of conductor remaining. About a half an inch of conductor remaining. That ought to be about right, right there. Then we get our modular plug with the tab down and each conductor, make sure they're in the proper order, each conductor will slide down in its own little channel in that plug and we push it down onto the plug and make sure that the jacket goes beyond um, this little uh, spot right here for strain relief. So we want to push the jacket so it goes beyond uh, this little spot right here and uh, when we crimp it, it'll crimp down on the jacket and hold it. Then the next thing we do is we get our crimp tool and we insert the crimp tool onto the, onto the plug and cable, push and squeeze. And there you go. We have direct attached a uh, modular plug to the end of a category six cable.